everybody, Kathy Childs Morrison here. I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I made my rummy tile pendants. Uh, a couple of people have asked me to do that. Um, my first one was an inspiration, or I was inspired by um, Lori Hansen's, um, oh, what did she call it, a jump start challenge. And uh, I guess I could get that down off my Bolton board and just quickly show you what that one looks like. The challenge was to use a sticker, actually a sticker from a six sticker sheet, some dirt, and three papers, and uh, three paper clips. And you had to use one of each of those, at least one of each of those items. So my sticker is a Martha Stewart butterfly. Can you see the butterfly? It's hard to tell. Um, there we go. It's the golden butterfly. And then you can see the lady, she's a Graphic 45 scrap. I used sand for dirt, adhered it with a uh, Mod Podge. A coat of Mod Podge, then the, then the sand, builder sand, and then another coat of Mod Podge around the edges. I adhered the paper clip for a bale, and um, I can't remember the paper line the paper's from on the back. But anyways, so that was my response to her, uh, her jumpstart challenge. And then I found Shabby Beautiful Scrapbooking uh, by Misty, and she uh, provides once a week. She sends out free digi files, and I created this one with with her my first free digi file for her from her. <laughs> and she um, asked me if I would do a tutorial and show how I created it. So that's the back, and that's with uh, alcohol inks and a bale from Top Powder, and that's her image. So I'll show you first the image that that one came from. This is the first image. You can see where I cut it out. Um, and I just cut it out, adhered it with Tombow Mono, and um, did the whole business to the top. And just to show you the second image that I got from her, um, love this. Love that I, she's providing these for free once a week. She has other this, others that you can pay for. And uh, actually, I should tell you too that I was running out of ink, so it's not consistent in color. Probably would be much nicer um, if if I had a, a full ink cartridge. So anyway, let's get started. I'll just back this off so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, if I can get my camera to do that. <laughs> and that's not going to work. You need to see it close up. So, so sorry about this adjusting. Uh huh. I wonder if that'll work. Am I too far away? Okay, there we go. So, this is an example. I, I think I posted probably five or six or eight different ones. So I'll just show you, let's say four out of the eight that I posted on, oop, where are you? On my blog and on Facebook. So I just used designer paper for some of them. Oops, lighting, hello. Uh, that's one, love this one. This is from the Gabrielle line. I made another one with that line. I just love it, I'll have to show you there. So just snicked off a little bit of butterfly and it's just beautiful. Your eye does the rest. And here's another one with a designer paper again. Whoop. That's a Tim Coffee paper. And this one is a kind of waxy tissue paper background. And then I stamped on it. Oops, that isn't focusing. There we go. With stays on ink. <laughs> 